Hello, hockey fans. Did you enjoy the Winter Classic as much as I did? It was amazing as hell. Now, for, um, for, for this, I did something that I haven't done before. I actually took notes on it. Because, um, um, because here they are. Here they are. That's just some of them. That's just some of them. And, uh, yeah, there they are. Now, the reason why I took notes on this is simple. I'm a big fan of the hockey guy. I've watched his videos for, like, the last, like, couple of years. I watch him daily. His news of the day and, of course, his reviews and my favorite videos are the power rankings because I'm always interested to see where he ranks the abs um, according to how we we perform. Um, but, uh, but I was inspired by his videos to actually take some notes on the on the game. So um it's the thirteen I think it's the thirteenth annual winter classic. This was supposed to be last year's winter classic, but it got pushed back because of the COVID nineteen pandemic. The second time the winter classic had to be uh was was uh end up cancelled and post or slash postponed. The first time was twenty thirteen because of uh the lockout. The the brief lockout. So here we, here we go. Um, uh, the local the local temperature in Minneapolis. They're playing at Target Field where the Twins play. Uh, the local temperature at at the opening puck drop was six below, and uh, the goalie matchups was uh, Bennington versus Talbot. Bennington was six, entered his game six one and one his last eight against Minnesota. Uh, shots are the shots are are, uh, are five five nothing Blues after four minutes. Yeah, I found it. It was amazing. The, the, the Wild start off not being by the shot. But um, as the as the as the game progressed, the temperature actually dipped to eight below. It was listed as the third coldest sport event in history. O'Reilly had a good chance, but missed the net. Uh, the uh, Minnesota's first shot on goal was Kevin Fiala at seven sixteen into the game. Uh, uh, Duhane nearly broke away, but Bennington stopped that. And um, a goal mouth scramble happened right after, but Bennington uh, held on and covered. Uh, odd man, odd man rushed by St. Louis. Perron had the shot. It was stopped by Talbert. Uh, first penalty went to Costin for tripping, and uh, Minnesota went on the power play. It was killed off with no shots. But then later, but then later on, we have our first goal. David Perron, his eighth of the season from Ryan Ryan and Marco Scandella at fourteen twenty nine. Um, Perron, Perron had four shots of his own, which tied him with the whole Minnesota Wild team. But number five. For Minnesota, it's going in. It's it's Kirill the Thrill Kaprizov is 14th from Hartman at 14:54. 25 seconds later, that was under again. That was under fifth shot and goal. 25 seconds after Perron's goal, uh, the Wild finally had a power play. But 18 seconds later, it would end up being a four on four due to an interference call. Um, that led to a 18, brief 18, 18 second power play for the uh, Blues, and that was killed off. And and uh, the first period ended tied at one. One to one. What else? What could happen in a game that's tied at one one at the twenty? A lot. Second period. Uh, second period. Temperature dipped a bit down to nine below at puck drop. And twenty seven seconds after the puck drop, Jordan Cairo uh, gave the Blues the lead. His eleventh of the season was unassisted. Uh, the shots are two apiece. At three minutes into the second. Booze had a three on two. Booze had a three on two. Um, uh, odd man rush that failed. Uh, a potential breakaway for Kaprizov was stopped due to Harper being offside. Uh, Brandon Saad had an opportunity stopped by Talbot. However, Tarasenko's one timer could not be stopped. That goes in his 14th of the season. Kairou and Robert Thomas with the assist at 8:55. So that's so that's two points for Kairou and. If you saw, he wouldn't be done yet. Um, the, Blues, the Blues at the time had four shots. Half of them went in in that period. Uh, Minnesota got a third power play. As THG would say, that was a no. Uh, after, after three power plays, still no shots combined. Sturm was called for uh, Sturm was later called for slashing, so the Blues got their first full power play at 1247. The temperature still hadn't dipped, hadn't dipped just yet. But hadn't dipped just yet. Um... Uh, Nothing was happening to power play, but with one second left on the man advantage, it's Barbashev. His 12th of the season 
from Kairu Ubusnevich. So that's Kairu's third point. That's Kairu's third point of the game, and Ubusnevich is on the board. Uh, the goal was scored at 1446. Um, uh, the Blues had nine shots, and, three, and the third one went in, but another one would go in, and it was, you guessed it, Jordan Kairu. His 12th of the season, second of the game. There was an assist on this one. It was Tarasenko. So that's four. Four points. Four points. But 40 seconds later, Rem Pitlick scores his um, sixth from Victor Rass at 18.38. And the fun, and the fun doesn't stop there. Tory Krug, just um, 41 seconds later, his fifth from Barbershop. So Barbershop has a couple points. Uh, 81 second span, those three goals were scored. Two from... Two from uh, the Blues and uh, 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 and one and uh, one for the Wild, but overall, overall, the second period ends with the Blues up six to two. They scored five goals that second period on fourteen shots. Third period, the temperature, the, the third period, the temperature is now down to ten below, making it the second coldest sporting event in in history, right behind the ice ball, which was played. Uh, 54 years ago yesterday, uh, the NFL championship. Um, the Pitwick was called for tripping. Uh, Booze went on their third power play. That failed. And then uh, Minnesota's shots were starting to increase, and one goes in. It's Ryan Hartman from uh, Zuccarell and Kaprizov. It's, it's Hartman's 15th. That scored at 840. That was on their fifth shot of the period. The shots were 5 3 wild at nine minutes. Uh, Minnesota goes under. Minnesota actually pulls a goalie, but they end up with a power play, so it's six on four. Th that power play does that power play doesn't succeed according to what I read. But afterwards, it's Fiala, his seventh of the game for Kaprizov and Goligoski. So that's three points for Kaprizov and Goligoski's on the board. That's at fourteen twenty-two. They pull Talbot again. The, uh, Minnesota continues to shoot. Um, uh, Minnesota continues to shoot and shoot and shoot, but nothing else goes in, and well, that's that. The uh, Blues ended up winning. The Blues ended up winning um, uh, uh, um, six to four. That was the final score. As for the shots, the shots on goal were fourteen five, fourteen five Blues in the first, four, fourteen five Blues in the first, fourteen nine Blues in the second, seventeen three for Minnesota. In the third period, and after going about seven minutes with no shots, the final tally on the shots ended up being 32-31 in favor of the Wild. But but uh, they didn't, they couldn't get too much past Bennington. They got four past him, but it ended up not, it ended up not being enough. Um, um, Bennington ends up with the win, even though it was an adventure. Even though the third period was kind of an adventure for him, he ended up stopping 28 of the uh, Wilds' um, 32 shots, and uh, Talbot had 25 saves of his own. And uh, some good, some good games, some pretty good games all around for for a lot of players involved. Uh, Kairou with two and two, uh, two goals, two assists. Kaprizov, last year's Calder winner, had uh, a goal and uh, two helpers. I think it's. I think it's I think it's two helpers. Yeah, a goal and two helpers, and um, Hartman had a goal and assist, and um, Barbashev scored the only power play goal in this game overall. So, because um, yeah, um, Minnesota was zero for four, and uh, St. Louis was one for three on the power play, but it was an amazing game. I do love the um, I do love the Winter Classic because as a hockey fan, I as a hockey fan I take pride. And knowing that while all these other sports have the other um, uh, uh, um, uh, holidays, sorry for <laughs> sorry for stuttering a bit, I have the other holidays. The first day of the year belongs to the NHL, and that's a great feeling. Now I have I need to know when. Let's see the twenty twenty three Winter Classic. When is that? Well, I mean I know when it is. I know I don't know where it is. Oh. It's at Met. It's at MetLife. Excuse me. Yeah, the next Winter Classic is at MetLife. So I don't know what team's gonna host it. It might be. It might be Rangers Islanders game. We don't know. Or it might be the Devils. One of those two. One of those two teams. I don't know. But it looks like. Um, I think I read it's gonna be MetLife for the next. Um, 
for the, it's, it looks like it's going to be MetLife. What I read for the next um, uh, um, Winter Classic, but yeah, it was a great game. Uh, another tidbit: they said ten goals. Oh wait, never mind. I have to make a correction. That was those are host candidates. There's no actually definitive announcement on who's hosting the next Winter Classic in 2023. But um, oh, I have to, I have to get in this tidbit. Um, the ten goals scored. In the Winter Classic, set, uh, I think it said, look at that. I think the 10 goals scored ties the record for the most goals scored in an outdoor game. So, yeah, that was it was, it was a thrill. It was an absolute thrill. And, um, and, yeah, Minnesota got to do it. I hope the Avalanche get to do it uh, one of these years. I hope it is next year. It could be, they could do what? Avs in Vegas or Avs in um, probably Nashville or um, who else in the West could they play? Who else in the West could the Avs play in a Winter Classic? Probably Dallas. I don't know, but they they could do it. We they can do it. Just put it at Coors Field or Mile High or something like that. But anyway, so that's my review of uh, the Winter Classic. If you like this video, click the like button, click subscribe if you want more. I'll be back on YouTube in a few days with my recap of week 17 of the NFL season. So stay tuned.